What's going on everybody here with another week at the Home Theater Hobbies and this week we have our full review of the Emotiva A500 Power Amp. So let's get to it. First of all, if you're new to the channel, welcome. On this channel you'll find things like product reviews like this one, product comparisons, there's a Home Theater Basics if you're a newbie, and just general commentary. So go ahead, click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime we upload new content. So here it is, this is the A500 from Emotiva. If you aren't familiar with Emotiva, they are an audio company that specializes in gear for both music and home theater. They sell amplifiers like this one, sound processors, preamps, speakers, subwoofers, um, accessories for the gear, basically everything you need for your home theater or music setup. So click on that link in the description below and you can find out about all the great products that they sell. The A500 is a five channel amplifier, which means it can drive five speakers, your front left, your center, front right, and your two side surrounds, which as we all know is the basis for a good multi-channel home theater or music setup. The A500 is 17 inches wide, four inches high, and just under 16 inches deep. It weighs 26 pounds. The two channel power output is 100 watts per channel RMS with a frequency range of 20 hertz all the way to 20,000 hertz. The total harmonic distortion is less than 0.1% into 8 ohms. The all channel driven power rating is 80 watts per channel RMS with the same frequency range and total harmonic distortion of the two channel output. The A500 also includes a high current ultra low noise toroidal transformer and the minimum recommended load impedance or speaker impedance is four ohms. The front panel of the A500 is nice and clean. You have a nice brushed aluminum surface finish with the Emotiva logo front and center and then you've got your A500 and your base X along the bottom. Right here you've got a plastic panel that houses your status indicator lights and this button here is the Emotiva power button or the front power button. Right now it's in standby mode and you can notice that because they have an amber light. You push the button, the light turns blue and the status indicators turn on. They are blue if everything is fine with the unit but red if there's a problem or a fault with one of your channels. Along the rear panel starting on the left at the top you have your status LED switch so you can turn your LEDs along the front on or off with that switch. Then you also have your input for your 12 volt trigger from let's say your signal processor or your receiver and you have an output so you can actually add something else to this if you want. Moving over to the right you have all of your connections for your five speakers. Uh, one row for each channel. You start off with your input signal here at the top this RCA connection here and then you have your speaker wire connections positive and negative along the bottom. On the far right hand side you have your power switch. And this is your main power switch. You can turn it on and off and of course your outlet down there. Now let's talk setup and connecting this amplifier. Now remember this is an amplifier only. You're, you still need something to process the signal coming out of your Blu-ray player, your TV, whatever you're using to actually watch your content. And so you'll need something like a surround processor or an AV receiver with pre-out connections. You'll take that connection or you'll take that box and then you'll use these unbalanced RCA cables to connect to this amplifier. Once that's connected, then you can connect speaker wire to your speakers and you'll have a complete setup. Now the speaker wire does need to be 16 gauge or thicker. So if you remember, 16 gauge is thin, 14 gauge is thicker than that, and 12 gauge is even thicker than that. So the lower the number, the thicker the wire. Once you have all that set up, you can use something like this. This is the remote trigger cable from your AV receiver or sound processor to this box. And what this does is this sends a signal to tell this box to turn on whenever you turn on your AV receiver or sound processor. This box does not come with the remote. It does have a button on front that you can use to turn it off and on if you need to, but really it's best to use a cable like this. Now let's listen to a couple of sound samples. The first sound sample will have just my AVR coming out of my front left and right speakers. The second sound sample will be using this amplifier. Hopefully you'll be able to hear that difference.
Hopefully you heard the difference in those sound samples. If not, just take my word for it. There's definitely a difference when you're sitting here in the room. Let's talk about my experience. I unboxed the A500 a few weeks ago with the intent of having a full review done within the week. And that didn't happen because I ran into an issue. While listening to or while watching a movie, I started to hear a small noise. And so I paused the movie and I moved over to the A500 and I listened and it sounded like a modem noise. It wasn't very loud, but I could hear it. So I contacted Emotiva and they told me to send that unit back and they would replace it. This is the replacement review unit. I've had no issues with this unit since I've had it. I've tested it a lot and no issues whatsoever. But I did ask if someone has an issue, what should they do? My representative told me to tell you to contact Emotiva. This unit is under warranty. It's a three year warranty and they stand by it. One of the commenters in the unboxing video said that they had a similar issue and they were able to return the unit and it sounds like without any issue. So if you do have a problem, definitely contact Emotiva. So I spent over a week listening to this paired with my AV receiver, the Denon AVR-X4400H. And when I did that, I noticed one thing. It sounded better when this was on versus when it was off. I AB the two together, playing this and that with different songs and different music, one on, one off, right? And I enjoyed it more when this was on. And that's with my clip speakers, which are pretty sensitive, so they don't need a whole lot of power to drive them, but it sounded better. It was more detailed with this on. I also tried a pair of speakers that were a little less sensitive, need a little bit more power, and I noticed a difference as well. And that difference, let me be uh, clear here, is more detail, more dynamic range. There wasn't any tonal shift because that's a concern that a lot of people have with amps. There wasn't a tonal shift, but there was definitely more dynamic range, more detail at normal listening levels. And as I pushed the volume up, it got louder and it, it was it was really loud at one point when I was watching a movie, but I really enjoyed it. So if you're thinking about adding an amplifier to your existing setup, or you, know, you just want an amplifier with your AV receiver, it's definitely a good purchase and this would be a great addition to your system. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, purchase this amplifier using that link in the description below. We'll talk to you next time.